Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Yes, I actually am this handsome. So, I actually haven't played this in like two weeks. Um, but I remember exactly where... I'm nervous. This is the first video I've done with a webcam, and the first episode didn't have a webcam. At least I look cute. All right. So, uh, I got distracted last time we played this because I had to go help my brother-in-law buy a PS5. Uh, and then I fell into depths of depression. And then, um, had a bad week. And, uh, a bunch of other things happened. So I'm a little rusty, but it should be okay. As I am technically playing this for my birthday since it was a gift. Ooh, they're cool and spiky. This is a cactus. I love cacti. It's more of a plant than a flower. It's funny you ask, because they remind me of you. It's because he's a pr- <laughs> Well, that too, but mostly because they're sturdy and resilient by nature. Damn straight. They can survive in the harsh, awful climates of Arizona. I own, I've owned several cacti. I've never killed a cacti, though other people have killed my cacti. These are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like a mori. I think it's cute. I get everything except bulbous, I'll admit. Not another sprout mole. It's all good. Get the hang of this by now. Kick him in the nuts! Hmm. He's sad. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? Interesting. So it uses its magic bar as like a guard bar almost. God, this is such a bop. It's really got a good soundtrack. We'll fix that, sorry. I'm nervous. This is really the first time I've been properly on camera from a channel. <laughs> that was really cute, actually. <laughs> the way he's just scampering cross screen. Yeah, we did it. Massage. Intriguing. I want to get more comfortable being on camera again. I actually used to have to be on camera for one of my jobs. I uh, worked in a call center where I was visible via webcam to whoever wanted to see me. Oh. Weird how you beat us here. This is, this actually means that I missed out on a uh, closer save point. Hell yeah, let's have a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> I should have shaved more before my big debut on web camera. Yeah, I want to eat some fruits. <laughs> oh, that's so pleasant. Thanks, Mario. You're the best. It's nothing. Just trying to look out for all of you. She could be more like you. So everything... That's not true. Just seems that way from you... Mm. Effortlessly graceful. Yes. It's really hard for me to do mean and or evil playthroughs in some games. Catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Let's go back and save again, actually. Picnic basket. Fruit is good for you, though only sparingly. It's not as good as a vegetable is. Cool. I can't do a thing with this tuft of hair, by the way, if you've noticed me 
pick at it. If I put on headphones, actually, I have some here. It doesn't go into the headphones. This guy's so cute, by the way. Yeah, so it'll still just roll right onto me. So that's kind of a pain. Sad point. Observe. E old sprout. Interesting. So it just nulls them. These aren't actually plugged in, so I can take them off. Ooh. That was a needlessly creepy animation, I think. Let's fight it. Uh, let's make him happy. Hit right in the heart. <laughs> oh, that's pleasant. So because of the pre-recording that I do, a lot of my LPs actually do not have me. Ooh. So very wide in its damage. But that's okay. This fight's pretty tough. Don't worry, we can do this if we work together. Teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Try again, we'll get him this time. Ah, yeah, three. Collective energy. By using it, we can defeat it together. Attack and you'll see. I hit down, I hit left to call a Mori. See the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? It's called a follow up. Oh, okay. So it's like a one more from Persona. Or um, the, what is it called? The press turn system or half turn? From. So Mori's just really aggressive. I kind of want to buff Omori just because he's so aggressive. And that's kind of useful. He is tough. When you attack this, you notice all our energy went back up? Oh, so it's meter. Pound him. Oh, we're out of energy. Oh, so it's because I mashed the button instead of hitting it once. Or have I just been expending it? This music is so good, man. Throw of energy. Perfect time to press down to release energy. That is a lot of energy. <gasps> oh, it's so cute! Yeah! Yes. That's pretty radical. If I do say so myself. Fiddy clams! Omori is level. He learned stab, y'all. Uh. And there you have it. 
Heroes Battle Tutorial 101. Fight more battles or teamwork will improve. Hello, dear. Oh, you guys, that was so amazing. There's nothing, huh? <laughs> Taking down way bigger guys than that. Teach you one of my skills one of these days. Yeah, the type that likes to fight. It's good you know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Sorry. My wife came in here. I also wanted to reconfigure my camera, which I have done. Working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can start it together next time. I'll give it to Amori, since he's the main character boy. Self-help guide. I'll be updating the follow-up section. But yeah, press turns and half turns are from Shin Megami Tensei. Which was turned into the one more system from Persona. Which is where most people know it because no one plays Shin Megami Tensei anymore. Mmm. We're like Pokemons. <laughs> he lives in a shoe. That's inside a tree. A forest inside of a tree, in fact. Oh, let me go first. I have to deactivate all the traps. Say cheese. Cheese. Gives it character. It do. I want to see it. This is so cute. Yeah, we do look cute. Dude, the, the art style of this game is so good. God damn you, Cal. Yeah, let me walk all the way around like a Pokemon character. Did you want to look at the photo? <laughs> Aw, Eeyore. Y'all still look so cute. Should add it to my collection. Woohoo, another shot for the photo album. Vover, Aubrey, I can't see. Stop pushing. You already had your turn. My way, Kel. No need to fight. Hold on. Me first. No me. Ah, oh, stop it. You guys are knocking me over. Destroying my delicate camera. And breaking my fragile bones. Uh, whoops. Oh, gosh. Basil, he's dead. Are you okay, Basil? You're in big trouble now. I'm gonna throw you into the river. Please don't tell Mari. She'll kill us all. I shouldn't feel the need to make this darker. I imagine it's going to do that all on its own. It's okay. This didn't happen. Here's your photos. Doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in the album together. I can't believe his name is Hero. It's probably an E even. Wipe your feet. There's no time for cultural translation differences. We've got to go. Bunch of potted plants. Plants. Oh, it's so cute. All right, what I'm getting is Basil loves taking care of things. So that basil is a flower. It is a comfy looking bed. Ready to put back the photos? No. I'll wait here. Basil's photo album. Most precious belonging. Fireplace. The fire is warm. Most fires are. Mostly about plant care. All right. Let's get started. Hmm, I don't think I remember that. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember. Oh, no. This ought to be fun. Mori has a good memory. And access to the internet. Oh, God. Okay. Flower crown should go here, right? That makes sense. Uh, 
Oh, is it just... Is it that easy? <laughs> Wait, the little, the little thing has a little plaque over it that says Basil. He stole this book. <laughs> Good as new. Sorry for pushing you over, even though at least half of it was Cal's fault. Promise never fight with Aubrey again unless she starts it first. Ah, the Franz Ferdinand way of settling disputes. They only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. That's strange. A photo must have been loose. What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. No, that can't be. Mari. I'm back in the white. <laughs> All right, we are we are in there. We are in there. Yes, I will take a look. Oh, man. Whoa, what? Look at all of us. Is that a game over? Is that an ending? These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Oh, they're holding hands. I love holding hands with people. To make some new memories together, okay? In high school, I was the tallest person, so I'd usually, like, lead a charge. And so to get people through crowds, I would often, like, have everyone hold hands and just daisy chain them following me. Because people would get the hell out of my way, because I'm a giant. And I have been for a while. And so a lot of my friends are short compared to me, meaning they're normal size. But I have a lot of friends who are extra short. What's his name? Sonny. Um, I'll be honest. I like sticking with default names. Because, like, the protagonist of Persona 4 is named Yuna Arakami, not Soji Seda. You know, Persona 5, you're named... Akira, what's his name? Fudo. That's Devil Man. Kurusu. Not Ren I am in the And like I don't wanna I don't wanna screw with this. I don't wanna have a moment where like we're having a, a very tense scene and someone calls Cloud Strife butts. Actually that's a bad example, since there is a Final Fantasy character canonically named Butts. Though that's a mistranslation. It's supposed to be Bart's. Like Bart with a Z. I love this art style. I love the way that they draw eyes. I gotta start drawing eyes like that. When I draw eyes, it's usually little uh, little lines like um, Hi, I'm Daisy. Or she goes by Gigi now, but the way that she draws it, she's the artist for Cucumber Quest. House plant. So I'm sunny now. Mom's to-do list. I don't feel like doing your chores. Old computer. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Still in the city, setting things up for our new home. You finished packing? The movers are going to be at our house for a few in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry, Mommy messed up. Forgot to tell the electric company we need a few more days before we're ready to move. The lights might cut out sometime tonight. But not the phone. I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. 
I know you haven't talked to anyone for a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Cal has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. That's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzz. Oh, this is going to get really sad really fast. You're hungry. Let's go to the refrigerator so I can drink some spoiled milk. No, I'm not sure. If you're going to ask me like that, I'm not sure. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mom likes to keep them around. We got a... So there's a crawl space? Empty picks me back. Oh. Interesting. So instead of everyone being all pastel colored, with Omori being colorless, there's a thing that um off... I, oh god, I believe I think I might have mentioned this in the first episode, but off uses white for things, but it is my belief that that color is not white; it is colorless. It's different. But now we are colored like a human is, like the the picture that we are is actually colored in. House plant, bookcase cleared out. Mama's bed. Mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Isn't that it? Like, when you're a kid, like, you cannot appreciate any bed unless it is the softest thing in the world. So I moved my camera, but I didn't move the things behind me, so you can see my Castlevania poster on the wall a little bit. I really don't like how they ask me if, are you sure you want to put your butt right into the danger? You don't want to look down. Close your eyes. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. There's another room here. Oh, bathroom. Hi, Sonny. This is a note from Mommy. I'm going to brush your teeth every day. Love you. Hugs and kisses. There's a little cute little pleasant little boy towels and toiletries a toilet man don't trust those dream toilets they're gonna they're gonna backstab you oh this is giving me a weird feeling in my tum that's my my chest but you can't see my stomach on camera despite how big it is am i like fluorescent by the way i feel like i'm fluorescent Oh. An eerie red glow it radiates from outside. It looks like the third impact is... I feel strangely drawn to it. Yeah, it looks like the third impact's happening out there. Door's locked. Someone's taking a Mondo. Or alternatively, they did like I do and they locked themselves in the bathroom to have a panic attack. It's a weird place where I'm like, <laughs> hashtag relatable, locking yourself in the bathroom to have a panic attack. Ooh, big long hands. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hands. Ten hands is five characters. That's all the characters that we've seen besides Omori. Although, like, that's Mari, Basil, Kel, Hero. Audrey? Aubrey. Oh, I can keep going. So would this not have happened if I had stabbed myself? I did it because I thought it would be cool, I guess. I mean, that's not exactly it. I did it because I was like, ooh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Sonny will literally not walk backwards. He shakes his head. You are hungry, he says. He doesn't notice any of this. This is what it's like whenever you have to go into the basement as a kid. I like how it doesn't have a grabbing animation. It's just... Eh. 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 <sighs> Something. 
something shoves Sunny. Takes 10 damage. Mm hmm. Looks like this is a uh, one of them supposed to lose fights in an RPG. Tack did nothing. Oh my god. Sunny. Something taunts Sunny as he falls. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Nothing ever is. Sit to yourself and remember how to calm down. Aww. Yeah. I'm neutral. And that has given me the strength to run away like a coward. Yeah, I did it. I ran away. First aid kit. Family photos. So what would have happened if I tried to go out of the, like, door... Back in the white room. I imagine it just would have been locked. Look in the fridge and find cold steak. Yeah. Heat it up before you eat it. Empty. Pick up the steak knife. Put the cold steak in the microwave. Mustache itchy. Microwave steak. Beast fit for a king. Ah, yes. Marvelous microwave casserole. Yes, I'd like to eat some. Sounds very tasty. That's a big honking steak. Got the rolled up little napkin and everything. That's fancy as hell. Really held shot here. <laughs> Stomach didn't agree with that. God, he's got the steak poops. Hello, dear. Sorry, my wife had to tell me that she missed me. I mean, not that it matters to you guys. I paused the recording. Not that it matters to me either, because I got to see my wife. Ha ha. Assuming a big bed with my wife. My wife unironically wants a race car bed. Oh, good. Bunch of books. And for those who don't know, sleeping in a race car bed versus sleeping in your wife is the subject of a joke from The Simpsons. A fireplace. There are nails stuck, but what does that mean, dude? <laughs> this was the staircase. It looked like the snake eater ladder from where I was standing. Oh, wait, maybe I should go to the bathroom. Clear up mistake poops. It appeared that that was the case. You threw up. Aw, poor boy. Does that suck whenever you throw up and you're, like, your mom's not home? Brush your teeth, especially after puking. Especially after puking, brush your teeth. You can actually rot your teeth from the inside. Ha ha! No. How did the bathroom get locked earlier? Oh, sweet Jesus, help me. Oh, 
I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm not freaking out. <clears throat> I'm cool. This game makes me jittery. You know, this game makes me uneasy. Welcome to White Space. Oh, have we just looped? That ain't good. Is this a... Is this a dreamer situation? Like, when Omori dies in the dream, he wakes back up. And then when he goes back to the... That's probably relevant. When he dies in the dream, he wakes up. When he falls asleep in the real world. He goes back to white space. Does Omori remember Sunny? I don't think Omori even knows who Sunny is. But there's always the door. You can always leave white space. But Omori won't make the choice to do so. Uh. Hangman. Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Okay. Press Q to open the hangman menu. Oh. Something fell nearby. Don't fuck with me, man. Pardon my French, but... Found a map. Of white space? That's so pretty. Headspace. So yeah, this is like... This is a dream space. Amongst other O's. I don't know how to do that yet. Let's crack it open. Okay. If this takes me back to the same place that it took me last time, then at least that's the same, and I can rely on that. But if not, I'm totally screwed. Oh, we're in a proper loop, ain't we? Oh, man. Thank goodness you're here. Can't find Basil anywhere. Tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. Bro, Mari might be the villain. Oh, so this isn't even a loop. This, this, this just happened. We all just came back here. They came to... I guess this exits to... Where are you going, Mari? So they know that I, I am in there. They know that I live in there. Four words probably still stand by me. Going out, Amori? Here's your allowance. Dude, this is... So, I don't have any way to orient myself here. <laughs> Eleven keys left. But there's 20... Okay. Maybe a second puzzle activates. I am bleedingly curious about this. Mar, you're okay. Oh, I got a hug. Don't worry me like that. I hope she's not like the villain or something. He's not with you, Omori? No, I'm afraid not. So I was sorting photos with Basil. Next thing I know, I'm making up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. 
So neighbors to what? Neighbors to the white space? At least we found you, but I hope Basil's okay. Who's gonna protect him if we're not there? I mean, such a downer. We'll find him for sure. Absolutely right, Kel. Times like these, we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something we missed. Oh, man. Okay. So, in the comic Homestuck... Aww. So cute. In the comic Homestuck, pretty much all of the characters have these things called dreaming moons. When they fall asleep in the real world, only their real body falls asleep. But one of them's hurt. These flowers, they're already dying. We must take care of them until Basil gets back. So, should I get the watering can? Yes, I would like to water. Yes, I would. Yeah. Oh, more, I got a heart. Anyway, the character then wakes up as their dream self on one of two moons. One of them called Prospect, which is golden. One of them called Durst, which is purple. Uh, it's one of my favorite things about Homestuck. The, the dreamer system. Um, it's involved with the game where Durst Dreamers have to undermine the government of their moon while Prospect Dreamers have to work with the government of their moon to accomplish one goal because everyone's working together. And so Durst Dreamers are all more conniving or clever and Prospect Dreamers are all more headstrong and obvious. And it might be the case with this. Oh, man. I promised my wife I'd go see her, but I'm so curious. Oh, sweet Jesus, help me. This game makes me jittery, man. This game makes me so uncomfortable. I'm proper spooked. I'll tell you that for free. Oh. That was the thing in Omori's notebook. That was the thing. He drew it. It was on the last page. And it was after a few blank pages. Maybe Amori didn't even draw it. I think Basil just left without telling us. I don't know. It doesn't sound like him. He's considerate about these things. I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm. Man. Hero is like... Is he supposed to be the main character and we're just controlling his sidekick? You guys are right. Keep the hopes up. Look from the vast forest. That's a little burn mark on the floor. A little dusty. Uh, choo. it's a dust. <laughs> Get him! Dust Bunny's trying to keep itself together. Oh. So we can't stab ourselves anymore. Which is good. Okay, it looks like these are all the same. Got it. Uh huh. Faux facts, emotion sharp, and self help guide. Oh boy. Stab. Ignores defense when Omori is sad. Costs 13. Interesting. Oh, man. man. I've got one hell of a way to speak. My hair's so luxurious and beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to save before I do a big explore and then I guess I'll cut the episode. Um, so yeah, this has been Omori. Um, I'm officially in. I'm so in on this game. This, this is a lot of things that I like. So, um, I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. Now with webcam. 
uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -ya.